Hey guys, welcome to the first video of our AI News and Scoops Weekly, where we dive into the latest and most exciting news and events from the world of artificial intelligence within the week. First on our radar is Google's big push into generative AI, and the following points are the highlights. One, generative AI focus, the Google Cloud. Next event in Las Vegas, attended by 30,000 participants, was primarily centered around generative AI. Despite being a cloud infrastructure provider, Google's core business received minimal attention outside its integration with generative AI. Two, AI enhancements and demos. Google introduced enhancements to its Gemini large language model, LLM, aiming to boost productivity on its platform. The event featured numerous demos, though some were criticized as overly simplistic and reliant on the Google ecosystem. One, use cases and implementation challenges. Generative AI was presented as beneficial for tasks like code creation, content analysis, and data querying. However, significant challenges in implementing these technologies in large organizations were noted. The complexity of integrating advanced technology and the internal resistance within companies can hinder adoption. Two, digital transformation and data management. A key prerequisite for leveraging generative AI is having organized and clean data. Companies lagging in digital transformation may find it particularly challenging to adopt AI technologies effectively. Three, tools for data connectivity. Google has developed tools to aid data engineers in connecting and cleaning data, which could simplify the preparation for AI models, especially for companies advanced in digital transformation. Four, governance and compliance. The implementation of AI solutions requires careful consideration of governance, security, privacy, and compliance issues, which are non-trivial and add another layer of complexity to AI adoption. Next on our list is the increasing number of robotics companies looking to hire, with the current count at 74. This represents the largest list to date, emphasizing the growth and demand in the robotics sector. A diverse array of companies is listed, offering a wide range of roles. Some notable companies and the number of roles they are hiring for include 1. Exotech, 174 roles. Exotech, a leader in robotic solutions for logistics, is likely hiring across various domains including software development, mechanical engineering, project management, and customer support to cater to its expanding global operations. 1. Aurora, 40 roles. Specializing in autonomous vehicle technology, Aurora is probably looking for roles such as autonomous driving engineers, sensor fusion specialists, and roles in operational safety and testing. 1. Neuro, 40 roles. Neuro, known for its autonomous delivery vehicles, might be recruiting for positions like robotics engineers, AI developers, public policy advocates, and roles focused on the integration of autonomous technology in urban environments. 1. Dexterity, 42 roles. Dexterity, which offers intelligent robots for warehousing and logistics, possibly has openings for robotic software programmers, electrical engineers, user experience designers, and sales professionals focused on industry partnerships. One, enchanted tools, 50 roles. As a company likely focused on creating user-friendly robotic tools, enchanted tools may be hiring for software developers, product managers, marketing specialists, and technical support staff. Each company's hiring initiative likely spans several technical and non-technical areas, reflecting the growing demand for a wide range of skills in the robotic sector. These roles not only focus on the direct development and operation of robotics technology, but also encompass support functions like sales, marketing, and regulatory compliance, which are crucial for the commercial success and integration of these technologies into everyday use. Thirdly, there's news about how Meta, Facebook's parent company, is conducting trials of its AI-powered chatbot, Meta AI, across WhatsApp, Instagram, and Messenger in India and parts of Africa. This initiative reflects Meta's strategy to leverage its vast user bases to scale its AI technologies. With respect to strategic market focus, India serves as a pivotal market for Meta, with over 500 million users of Facebook and WhatsApp, making it their largest market. The trials also target developing markets in Africa, where smartphone usage is rapidly increasing. To further boost its AI integrations, Meta introduced Meta AI in September 2023 a tool that can answer direct inquiries within chats and generate photorealistic images from text prompts. On Instagram, it is being used to enhance search functionalities. In the area of competitive landscape and strategic implications, Meta is accelerating its AI development to keep pace with competitors like OpenAI. 
The trials aim to improve user retention by integrating advanced AI tools, thus ensuring users remain engaged with Meta's platforms. Additionally, this move could help Meta maintain investor interest by demonstrating commitment to pioneering new technologies. Looking in the horizon, Meta plans to launch Llama 3, the next version of its open-source large language model, within the next month, further advancing its capabilities in AI. Next, in a significant update announced this week, OpenAI has introduced an improved version of its GPT-4 Turbo model tailored for ChatGPT Premium users including those subscribed to ChatGPT+, Team, or Enterprise packages. The new iteration, labeled GPT-4 Turbo 2024-0409, brings substantial enhancements to the AI-powered chatbot, refining its capabilities in writing, mathematics, logical reasoning, and coding. According to OpenAI, this upgrade ensures that ChatGPT will deliver responses that are not only more direct and concise, but also crafted in a more conversational tone. Key updates. 1. Enhanced data training. The model has been trained on the latest available data, extending up to December 2023, an update from the previous cutoff in April 2023. 2. Introduction of vision capabilities. The rollout also features GPT-4 Turbo with vision, expanding the model's utility to include image understanding, a first for the GPT-4 Turbo series. This update follows a challenging week for OpenAI, marked by contentious headlines. Reports surfaced about Microsoft's proposal to utilize OpenAI's DAL-E text-to-image model for U.S. military applications. Furthermore, the company faced internal upheaval with the dismissal of two researchers linked to past organizational conflicts. OpenAI continues to push the boundaries of what's possible with AI, aiming to enhance user experiences across its platforms while navigating the complex ethical landscape that these powerful technologies inhabit. Next, UK's antitrust enforcer sounds the alarm over big tech's grip on gene AI. The UK's Competition and Markets Authority, CMA, has issued a stern warning about the increasing control of major technology firms over the generative AI market. In a detailed update paper released on Thursday, April 11, 2024, the CMA articulated significant concerns regarding the potential monopolistic behaviors exhibited by leading tech companies, notably those grouped under the acronym GAMMA Google, Amazon, Microsoft, Meta, and Apple. Key highlights from the CMA's warning, one, market concentration concerns. The CMA's review points to a worrying trend of increasing concentration and interconnection among gamma firms across the AI value chain, which includes compute, data acquisition, model development, and distribution. One, potential risks to competition. Highlighted risks include the potential for these firms to control critical inputs required for AI development, use their dominant market positions to distort consumer choices and form powerful partnerships that may restrict competition. Two, regulatory shift. Initially hesitant to impose regulations on the rapidly evolving AI market, the CMA now suggests a more proactive approach is necessary due to the accelerated adoption and integration of AI technologies by major corporations. Future actions and regulatory measures. Merger reviews. The CMA is considering more rigorous use of merger reviews to prevent anti-competitive partnerships. Development principles. The agency urges adherence to seven development principles aimed at fostering responsible AI market growth, emphasizing accountability, diversity, choice, flexibility, fair dealing, and transparency. In a speech in Washington, D.C., CMA CEO Sarah Cardell emphasized the importance of preemptive action to prevent a few dominant firms from leveraging AI advancements to fortify their market positions detrimentally. What's next? The CMA continues to closely monitor the activities of gamma firms, prepared to use its regulatory powers to ensure that the AI market remains competitive and innovative, benefiting businesses and consumers alike. Moving on, European car manufacturer will pilot Sanctuary AI's humanoid robot, Sanctuary AI has announced a significant development in the automotive manufacturing sector. The Canadian-based tech firm is set to deliver its advanced humanoid robot, Phoenix, to a Magna manufacturing facility in Austria, signaling a notable collaboration between AI innovation and traditional manufacturing. Key developments. Robot deployment, Magna, known for its partnerships with leading automakers such as Mercedes, Jaguar, and BMW, will pilot the Phoenix robot. This humanoid stands 5 feet 7 inches tall 
and is primarily designed to perform complex manual tasks with a high degree of dexterity. Pilot Program Objectives The pilot aims to explore the scalability and cost efficiency of integrating humanoid robots into car manufacturing processes. The program includes a strategic investment from Magna, highlighting the significant financial and technological synergy between the two firms. Broader Industry Trends this initiative is part of a larger movement within the automotive industry towards embracing robotic technology to enhance operational efficiency. Similar programs are underway at other major automakers, leveraging humanoid robots for diverse applications from assembly line work to logistics. Future implications. The results of this pilot program will be crucial in determining the viability of wider deployment of humanoid robots in automotive manufacturing. Sanctuary AI and Magna are looking to set a benchmark for innovation in the industry, focusing on the potential return on investment and long-term benefits of robotic automation. Next, Meta introduces AutoBlur for nudity in Instagram DMs to enhance teen safety. In its latest effort to safeguard young users, Meta has announced a new safety feature on Instagram that automatically blurs images containing nudity sent via direct messages, DMs. This initiative is part of a broader strategy to protect teens from exposure to inappropriate content and sextortion scams. Key features and updates include nudity protection in DMs. The new feature, termed nudity protection in DMs, aims to shield teen users from cyber flashing. It automatically places a safety screen over images detected as containing nudity, allowing users the choice of whether to view them. Enhanced user warnings. Teens will receive prompts cautioning them about the risks of sharing intimate images. These reminders are designed to prevent scammers from exploiting young users by tricking them into sending compromising photos. Strategic Technological Enhancements Meta is advancing its technology to identify accounts potentially involved in sextortion, limiting their ability to interact with teen users. This includes restrictions on how these flagged accounts can message other users. On the question of broader safeguards and regulatory compliance, Meta is increasing its collaboration with Lantern, the online child safety program, enhancing its capability to share sextortion-specific signals. The company continues to enforce its policies against unwanted nude images strictly and is taking further steps to ensure compliance with recent digital safety regulations like the EU's Digital Services Act, DSA, and the UK's Children Code. Future Plans while initially focusing on Instagram DMs due to the platform's higher engagement with young users, Meta is open to expanding these safety measures to other platforms based on need and effectiveness. Next, Google's Gradient Ventures invests in Patlytics to revolutionize IP protection. Patlytics, a pioneering AI-powered patent analytics platform, is set to transform the intellectual property, IP landscape for enterprises, IP professionals, and law firms. The startup has successfully closed a $4.5 million seed funding round led by Google's AI-focused venture capital arm, Gradient Ventures. Key Developments Innovative AI Solutions Patlytics aims to streamline patent workflows through advanced analytics, discovery, comparisons, prosecution, and litigation. By leveraging AI, the platform seeks to drastically reduce the time and effort traditionally required in patent processing. Strategic Investment with the backing of Gradient Ventures, Patlytics plans to expand its capabilities and accelerate the deployment of its solutions across the patent lifecycle. Expert Leadership The company, co-founded by CEO Paul Lee and CTO Arthur Jen, combines a deep understanding of the IP industry's needs with innovative technological solutions. Enhanced Functionality and Security Patlytics is not just about speeding up existing processes, it aims to transform how patent professionals strategize and engage with IP. With features like end drafts and extensive chart solutions, the platform provides unique insights and analytics that set it apart from competitors. Additionally, the product is SOC 2 certified, ensuring high standards of data security and privacy throughout the patent lifecycle. Industry impact. According to Darian Shirazi, general partner at Gradient Ventures, integrating AI into IP protection is crucial as companies from various sectors, including automotive to pharmaceuticals, seek to protect their innovations and monitor competitors' activities. Patlytics is poised to lead this transformation, offering tools that make IP protection more dynamic and effective. Next, Symbian innovates AI integration into existing security tools. In a groundbreaking development in cybersecurity, Symbian has introduced an AI-powered platform designed to streamline and enhance existing security tools. 
Founded by Ambuj Kumar, a former NVIDIA engineer turned cybersecurity expert, Symbian aims to reduce the operational burdens often associated with managing multiple security systems. Highlights of Symbian's AI platform. Advanced automation. Symbian's platform utilizes artificial intelligence to orchestrate and automate the operation of existing security tools. This includes configuring products to match a company's specific security requirements and business priorities. User-friendly interface. The platform features a chatbot-like interface that allows users to input their cybersecurity goals in natural language. Symbian then provides personalized recommendations and executes automated actions to achieve these goals. Addressing industry fragmentation. Kumar highlighted the fragmented nature of the cybersecurity industry, where companies often struggle with an overload of tools. Symbian's AI integration promises to simplify this complexity, potentially saving on cybersecurity budgets and enhancing threat remediation. Challenges and innovations. AI training and reliability. Symbian has taken a unique approach to training its AI by using a crowdsourcing game on its website, which helps in identifying and correcting potential AI errors. This method aims to ensure the AI's reliability in real-world applications. Security and privacy. With a system that controls multiple security tools, privacy and data protection are paramount. Symbian addresses these concerns by using encryption, with customers retaining control over their encryption keys. Investment and future plans. Symbian has recently secured $10 million in funding from several notable investors, including Coinbase board member Gokul Rajaram and other venture capital firms. The investment will primarily support product development, with plans to double the company's workforce by the end of the year. Moving on, Google announces free AI-powered editing tools for all Google Photos users. In a significant move to democratize advanced photo editing, Google has announced that its AI-powered editing tools, including the Magic Editor, will now be available to all Google Photos users for free. This suite of tools, previously exclusive to Pixel devices and paid subscribers, is set to revolutionize how users enhance and modify their photos. Key features released, Magic Editor, known for its capability to perform complex edits like altering photo backgrounds, repositioning subjects, and more. Magic Editor was initially launched with Pixel 8. It employs generative AI to automate edits that would typically require professional software such as Photoshop. Additional tools. The rollout also includes Magic Eraser for removing unwanted elements, Photo Unblur to sharpen images, and Portrait Light for adjusting lighting effects, Post Capture among other features. Availability. Starting May 15th, these tools will gradually become accessible to all users. Compatibility requirements include Chrome OS devices on version 118, plus with at least 3 GB RAM, and mobile devices running Android 8.0 or iOS 15 or higher. Strategic enhancements. While Pixel users will enjoy unrestricted access to Magic Editor, iOS and Android users will be allotted 10 free uses per month, with additional usage available through the premium Google One plan. This strategy not only enhances the Google Photos platform, but also potentially increases Google One subscriptions. Broader impact. By making sophisticated editing tools widely accessible, Google is setting a new standard in the photo editing landscape and intensifying competition with other tech giants offering similar tools. This update could significantly affect how everyday users and professionals alike interact with digital photography, emphasizing creativity and accessibility. So, there you have it, our list of some of the biggest news from the AI world for the week ending April 12th, 2024. Thanks for watching and don't forget to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next awesome video. Drop a comment below to share your thoughts or any topics you'd love to see in future videos.